Hi guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful beaded bracelet. I made it of really simple stuff, 3mm crystals, bicons and two color of seed beads. And I made a clasp of one crystal but you could use any regular clasp you want. So if you like what I show you here, Please subscribe to see more videos like this, share and comment my content if you want to make me do more of those type of tutorials. And now let's start with the list of the materials you're going to need. Here's a list of the materials you're going to need. You're going to need 3mm bicons, you could use Swarovski crystals or other brand, and you're going to need two color of two colors of 110 seed beads and a crystal here I'm using for my clasp and I need a um, size 10 beading needle I need a thread you could use any thread of your choice beading thread of your choice here I use monofilament 0 0.14 millimeters which is 5.5 pounds and when I squeeze it with my flat nose pliers it goes through size 10 beading needle and I'm going to start my project by taking an arm span of thread. I'm going to, to cut it, then squeeze it with my flat nose pliers and go with my needle through it. And I'm going to start. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take uh, six of these bicons here. And I have my six here. And what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to make a circle of those six bicons and I'm going to leave a tail to finish my bracelet with it later. And I'm going to make a knot here. So I'm going once through, through this loop I made. And then second time. In this way I'm forming a surgeon's knot. Okay? And now I have this. And I'm going to reinforce this circle one more time by going with my thread around it. Okay, and I reinforced my circle here. And now I will start my second circle. And this time I'm going to take five bicons because I will use this one as my sixth. As you see, I flip my work around to work easier because I'm right-handed. And I'll take my five. Okay, and I have my five. And now I will go through the same bit where my thread is exiting, but from the opposite direction. In this way, I'm going to form a circle here. Then I will do reinforcement by going one more time around this circle. Okay, I'm going in circle. And now I'm here in the beginning. Okay. And now through here. And I'm gonna exit the same beat where I started from, but this time in my second circle. Okay, and I'm gonna take five more and repeat these steps. And I have my five, and now I'm going through this beat here in circle. Okay? And then I will reinforce and I will continue until I have 20 circles. And I will be back. Okay, and I'm back and I have 20 circles. And I'm going to start the second row of my the base of my bracelet. And now I'm exiting here one bead before the, this top bead here. My thread is here and I'm gonna take five more bicons. Okay, 
and I have my 5. And this time, as I'm exiting here, I will go again in circle. And I'm going to make a circle of beads. And I will reinforce it. And in order to reinforce it, I will flip my work for a while. Then flip it again the way it's more comfortable for me. Don't worry and always flip your work the way it's more comfortable. Okay, now I'm almost ready. And off camera I did a full circle and now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to these three down beats here. If you can do it in one movement, do it in two or more going through all of the crystals. Now, what I have here is that I'm going through three crystals and in order to finish the next circle I need three more. Okay, and I have my three and now I'm going to flip my work around again and okay here are my three and I will go through this bead here like that and I'm pulling now my next step will be to reinforce but I'll do it off camera and I'll show you the next one okay and I reinforced my circle and now I'm exiting here I will go one bead with my needle here in that direction okay and I'm going through here and then I will take three more crystals and form another circle of six okay and I have my three and now I'm going through these two here and I'm making my next circle and I'm going to continue doing that and making circles and reinforcing them until I come to the end of this uh, bracelet base and I will be back okay and I just did my last circle here and pay attention that here I have circles like this so they could touch uh, the one that's sticking out uh, are from the opposite directions so when I close my bracelet it looks like like this okay so I just did my last circle and I'm not going to do one more because I want my circle to look like this when it's closed. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start and make the flowers, the embellishment of my bracelet. Okay, and I'm going to start by taking one red bead and six silver. And here is what I have on my needle here and okay and I slide them down and what I do next is that I go in circle through these silver beads here go in circle like that and now I have this and then what I do next is that I go one more time to reinforce this inner circle like that okay and here is my other thread that I'm going to finish the bracelet with later okay and off camera I move it away and now I'm reinforcing this circle here and 
I will go back through this silver bit like that. Okay. And now I have this. Now my thread is going through the red one and through the silver. Okay. Now I need another red bead like that. And what I do next is that I'm going through the crystal back through the crystal in circle and okay I'm exiting here and then what I want to do is that I want to go back through the red bead like that and then through the next silver Okay, now I am going out of the next silver bead and I'm going to take a red bead here and I'm going through the crystal again, like that and then back through the red and I will flip my work and then through the silver again okay and then through the next silver like that okay and now it's easier because my flower is almost fixed then I take one more red on my needle and go through the crystal. Then go back through the red and through the next two silvers. If I can do it in one movement, you do it in two. First through one of the silvers and then through the second. Then take one more red, go through the crystal, like that, then go back through the red and through the next two silvers, first through one of them. And then to the second one. Okay, now you have this. Now you need to add one more red. Go back to the crystal like that. Then to the red, to the silver. And then again through the next silver and the next red. Okay. And now I have my first flower. Next to it I'm going to do the same flower. You already know how to make it. Um, if you don't, uh, rewind this video and check out how I made this one. And for my second row, I will flip the color pattern. Outside will be the silver and inside the red one. It's up to you. You could use any colors and flip the colors the way you want. I will continue embellishing my bracelet and I will be back after I'm finished to show you how to make your clasp. Okay, and I did the whole length of my bracelet, look how it looks, and I will put on my clasp. And I want to use a crystal, 3x6mm crystal, to end it. 
first I'm going to take three seed beads. Okay, I, I have my three and I'm going to slide them down. And my thread is exiting here between, between two beads. This is the thread I left in the beginning to use it to uh, finish my bracelet. And I will take the crystal. I will slide it down. And I will take one more bead after it. And I will go back through the crystal, like that. This way I'm going to fix it to my bracelet. And then I will go back through those, through, through those three seed beads. Okay, I'm going back like that. And what I'm gonna do next is that I'm going to go down in the back of my bracelet. I could go several times up and down reinforcing this part here, but it's up to you. And I'm when I go down to the base of my bracelet, I'm going to go through the next crystal. Then you see my um, my clasp is leaning to this side, so to avoid this, I'm going to make a full circle and fix this one. Okay, I'm going around the space circle here, like that. And I'm going upwards. Okay. Then I'm going through this bead here. And I'm going down through all of those three beads. And this time I'm going to go in this direction to fix the bending of my clasp. Okay. It's not perfect, but it will be fixed later when you close it. You could use a normal clasp here, it's up to you. It's just my decision use this kind of clasp. So now it's time to make some knots. So I'm going with my needle like that and then I'm going two times through the loop I made and I'm pulling. And I will continue in this direction and I will make some more loops. And when I'm ready, I will cut my thread. Okay, and I cut my thread and now I have this from this side of my bracelet. Now I will turn my bracelet around and I will add more, more thread from this side. I will show you how to add more thread. And this is the way you add more and more thread as you uh, beat, because you can't have all of your thread in uh, at once. Uh, you will have a lot of troubles if you do this. So this is the way. Now I'm showing you how to add the thread. Okay, so I'm going with... I have a new thread on my needle and I'm going through one bead and I'm making a loop and then I do two knots here to uh, a loop and I go twice through it and I make a surgeon's knot and then I continue 
like that. Okay, and you could make some more knots, uh, go around, and then after you're ready, you could cut your extra, your tail thread, your extra tail thread. And now you're here. So now we're gonna make a loop where we're going to close our bracelet with a loop of beads. Okay, and I'm starting. Okay, and I took 15 beads on my needle and I slide them down. I measured how many beads I need uh, to go my crystal to go through it without going out easily. And I realize it's 15. So now I will reinforce this circle and make some knots and I'll be back. Okay, and I made a loop here. I went several times around this loop, then I went down to the back and made some knots. And now my bracelet is ready. It should be closed hardly um, because you don't want uh, to, be, to lose it or anything. So, so this is how it should look like. Of course, you could put another type of clasp, any clasp you like. D this is just my preposition of making it. So guys, that's it. My bracelet is ready. Doesn't it look nice? If you like it, please subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you want to support me and make me do more and more tutorials, Please comment, share my content and subscribe. Bye bye from me.